my mommy's page. Because it makes her happy. And what makes her happy? Makes me happy. Hey there, YouTube. Okay, so, t oops. Somebody watching a new camera. Hi, baby. Okay, so today I am doing a blue and silver, um, really vibrant look. I'm really excited to do this look today. Um, I absolutely love this. I've been wearing it actually for the past like two days. Um, I'm super into bold colors right now, so I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Um, I hope you guys really like this. Um, like I said, it's really bold and bright and vibrant. So um, if you're a little wary of bold colors, it's okay. This is always so much fun to go out at night and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you want to see how I did this look, please keep on watching, and I will see you guys at the end of the video. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is apply a bright silver to my eyes. I'm using Hip um, and Platinum. I'm just going to be using the silver from this. And I'm going to take that with a fluffy um, eye brush, and I'm going to apply that just to my lid. I'm not going to really go up into the crease because I don't want the silver to overpower the blue, um, which can happen fairly easy. So I'm just going to go um, on my lid. I'm going to pat that on there. Okay. Once we have that on, I'm going to start applying the blue. Now I'm using my BH Cosmetics 120 palette and I'm going to be using ah, I'm going to be using this blue right here mixed with this blue um, because I want this to be um, fairly soft but I also want the blue to definitely stick out um, and be bold. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take a fluffy um, dome shaped brush because I kind of want fine lines on these. I want to have a lot of control with where this is going. And I'm going to apply from inner corner all the way to my outer corner of my lid. And I'm just going to pull that up. And here at the outer corner I'm going to kind of create a box shape and I'm going to box the blue in. So what I'm going to do is just pull it out and then drag it straight down. So I've got this really nice like little box shape. Because I want this to be kind of bold. I don't want um, super harsh lines, but I do at the same time. I want some nice, fine, harsh lines here. But I want to blend them out just slightly so it's not too crazy. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the same blue and I'm going to drag it down to the inner corner of my bottom lid. I just want to get a kiss of color right there and I'm going to actually move it all the way around making like a U shape here in the inner corner. I don't want it to be too crazy so I'm going to soften it up with my finger just a little bit. But I do want that pop of color right here in the inner corner. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is apply a highlighter to my brow bone. I'm still using the BH Cosmetics um, 120 palette, and I'm going to grab this white color right here. It's not too bright, and it's not too dark either. It's kind of got a little bit of gray tones in it, but at the same time, it's still, still pretty bright, so it's going to highlight. So I'm just going to drag that right underneath my brow um, and kind of blend it into the blue just a little bit. Okay, next what I'm going to do is grab a black. I'm still using my BH Cosmetics palette just because all these colors are already here. And I'm going to be grabbing just the blackest black here. And I'm going to keep using that dome shaped brush and I'm just going to create a line right here in my inner uh, outer corner of my crease. I'm just going to create a black line and then I'm going to blend it in a little into my uh, eyelid. I don't want to blend it too much. I just want to make it so that it's nice and blended in but I still want that harsh line on the top so I'm not going to mess with it on the top at all. But I am going to blend it a little bit into the silver. Okay, next what we're going to be doing is applying a black liner to our waterline and I'm just using uh, Maybelline's Unstoppable in Onyx and I'm going to apply that just to my waterline a nice heavy coat 
and then I'm going to apply just a little to my top lashes um, as close to the lash line as possible because what I'm going to be doing is applying false lashes and this helps create um, kind of fills in the gaps if you were to put on the eyelashes and then there are any gaps um, just kind of creates a dark surface for it to go on to so if it's a little messy that's okay because we're also going to go over it with a liner so I'm going to apply that there and what I'm going to do next is apply my false lashes I'm just going to take a regular set of false lashes I'm going to apply just a little bit of glue to the lash line uh, just to that plastic line there I'm going to make sure that outer corners are definitely glued up because those are the ones, if those start peeling off, then the rest of your eyelashes are off for the rest of the day. So all I'm doing here is applying a thin coat of uh, glue. Oh, made a bubble. And then I'm going to let that set up and get tacky before applying. While that's setting up and getting tacky, I'm going to take um, a mascara. I'm using Falsies Volume Express by Maybelline. And I'm just going to apply a coat to my bottom lashes so those are already set and dried and we don't have to worry about those later. So I'm just going to apply a good, nice, healthy dose to the bottom lashes. Okay, now that the glue is set up and tacky, I'm going to go ahead and apply these. I'm going to apply them from the outer corner and then push them to the inner corner. Now that those are dry for the most part, I'm going to apply a liquid liner. Today I'm just using liquid liner um, by NYC. or NYC. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just using the liquid liner by NYC and it's just in black. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to apply a medium sized line from one side of my lashes all the way to the other and then at the very end I'm going to apply a flick okay. and just to finish off the look um, to mend my false lashes and my real lashes together I'm going to apply another coat using the same mascara as before and I'm just going to apply a thin coat just to my normal lashes just so that they mend together with the false ones really nicely Okay, and that was how I did my blue and silver bold colors inspired look. I hope you guys really liked it. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of bold colors this month. I'm really excited. I've gotten into really bold, vibrant looks lately. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to make my little puppers happy. <laughs> this is Charlie, and she says, subscribe to my mommy. She does. That's what she says. Because she loves her mommy and she wants to see her happy. And it makes me happy to get subscribers. Don't worry. She loves this. She's my little rag doll. She loves attention. Anyways, if you guys like this video, um, go ahead and subscribe. Any comments, questions, leave them below. And I will see you guys on my next video. Thanks, YouTube.